hello hello guys hello guys welcome to the channel I very much appreciate the support uh today i want to update you about Ole modi he played yesterday he did well exceptional most of you have been saying guti he proved guti he needs to be signed however guys no Ole modi is not signed i've seen already social media there are pages, you know, posting Nguti Opule Modi. Obviously, they have a huge following and these things are circulating very quick and f too fast, you know. Like, for instance, I saw this post today, you know, already has, like, you, as you can see, you know, his chiefs complete the signing of Opule Modi, 29 years old, on a three-year contract. Hey, guys, I don't know where this is coming from, really, really, like. So, Modi will turn uh, 30 next month. And yes, look, look, definitely, uh, it Golden Arrows, they are open, guys, yes, they are open to selling Upule Modi because the contract check is and then I would are trying to avoid uh, losing this player for free. So they are very much open to selling Upule Modi to any team that wants him. If they bring a good offer, Golden Arrows is more than happy to let go of the player because they know Uti Fele, you know, ish. He might leave. He might sign a pre-contract, and they are trying to avoid that. You know, they want him to be, you know, uh, bought this in this transfer window before June ends. They want him to be. They want to sell him, you know, and then get something in return instead of losing him at the end of um, the season. However, as things stand, there is no agreement between a Kaiser Chiefs and a Golden Arrows because Kaiser Chiefs is yet to revive their interest in this. Uh, player they haven't they haven't you know it's just a social media thing you know linking him to case chips and all of that but case chips have not revived their interest but like i said yesterday he did well maybe he has shed light and shown case chips to he, he is capable you know he's worthy of playing for case chips maybe they will make the right move but as it stands amazulu are the only team who have a strong 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 interest in this player not case chips but yeah he has been largely linked with case chips and like i said already you know, some news are circulating to say Uti, done deal, you know, he is a Kaiser Chiefs player, which is totally, totally untrue. It's not true, you know, but yeah, it is possible. And Modi has been doing well, by the way. He has like four goals and one assist this season. You know, it shows Uti, he's a good player. And he did also say Uti, he wouldn't mind joining Kaiser Chiefs. He is interested in joining Amakosi. So maybe it's the right time for Chiefs to to buy him like i said before golden arrows does not want to lose this player at the end of the season for free so they prefer to sell him now rather than waiting for him to just leave at the end of the season and signing a pre-contract so what i can say is a team that is willing to buy modi is in a better position than a team that is willing to get him on a pre-contract i hope that makes sense so yeah guys thank you for that one but no no agreement yet but transfer window is open all the teams are open you know they are free now they they are allowed to make the offer and golden arrows will consider it and let go of the player but they are more than happy to let him go as long as they get the right offer